we've had a pretty good look now at using file handles and working with files from our Perl scripts. Now let's have a look at the functions that Perl provides for working with directories. Once you've got familiar with the idea of a file handle, a directory handle is a very similar kind of concept. This is a syntax, and you'll notice it's very similar to the syntax for opening a file. The difference is, of course, the name of the function is different, but the directory handle here is a very similar syntax to the syntax for a file handle. It's always written in all capitals, and it's included as the first argument of the open DIR function. The second argument is the directory that we want the open DIR function to access. In this case, dot stands for the current directory. So once we've got our directory handle open, we're able to use the read DIR function to pull in the first entry of the directory. And that'll give us the file name. That allows us to access one file name within the directory, but of course, if we're going to look through a directory, we'll probably want to get more than one file name from it. We can do that by using a while loop. The read DIR function, the first time we call it, will access the first entry from the directory handle. The next time we call it, it'll access the second one, and so on, until it finds no more entries in the directory, in which case it'll return false, and the while loop will exit. Once we're finished with our directory handle, in a very similar way to how we use file handles, we can use the close DIR function to close the directory handle. Let's have a look at our text editor to see an example of this in use. And I'm using the exact same example as I used just now in that little movie. And what we're going to do is we're going to print out all of the file names followed by a new line character. If we go back to our command line and run our script. It's essentially doing the same thing as the ls command on a Unix system or the dir command on a DOS-based system. It's printing out each of the files in turn. We could, however, now that we've got our list of file names, do anything we want to them. We could use the file names to open a file handle for each of the file files and make whatever changes we wanted. So by doing this, we're actually able to move over each of the contents of a directory and do something to each of the files within it. So for instance, we might want to make a copy of each of these files and place them in a backups directory somewhere else or we might want to edit the contents of the files and do something specific to each of those files in turn. There may be some particular piece of text that we want to remove from each of those files or that we want to change. We can use the directory functions to do many things like this because we're able to pull out all of the entries within the directory using the directory functions.